Good evening, this is North Carolina Prepper. I was watching Cheap Geek's video uh, about a week ago, and he had all these hot cans from the Dollar Tree, or Dollar Store. I'll link his video here in the bottom in the description. But, um, I want to do, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to go ahead and do this one, and I wanted to dissect it, but I'm going to go ahead and drink it before I cut it apart. So you can watch his video on how to use it and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, fire this off. And I'll set it there. It'll take about three minutes. <coughs> so let me go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to drink it. And um, then we'll do the video. We'll continue the video. But this is what it is. It's hot can. This is a Cafe Mocha. I couldn't find the hot cocoa like he had, unfortunately. But I'll link his video down below. And you can see how they work and everything. And I'll be right back after I get it done and uh, drink it. I doubt you can see the smoke, but uh, <clears throat> or steam, but it's steaming. It's hot. So as soon as that steam stops, I'm supposed to turn it over. <coughs> so that's basically it. Let me um, let me finish, and then I'll uh, drink it, and then I'll continue the video. Okay, so it's done. It's cool now. Um, I went ahead and rinsed it out. Uh, this is all. Hard, so I guess the uh, whatever it is, the chemical um, is swollen, so or absorb water. So let's go ahead and try this part. Is that? Let's go ahead and uh, dissect this. This looks like the the bag, the little freezer bags. The same material as that. So let's see if we can just cut it here. Okay, so let's look at this. So it's a little, um, I can't think of what the word is right now. Oh, wow. Just foam. A little, like, hard foam. And there's the can. It's still really heavy. And I don't know if that's aluminum, but it's pretty thick. Let's go ahead and pull the bottom off now. Let me get the helping hands. I also would like to know if we can just dehydrate the chemical in there and um, see if we can reuse it for something practical. There you go. Also, when I um, first used it, it um, had a little water when I shook it, a little bit of water came out. So there's the thing, there's where we ruptured the packet, obviously. And I can see that. I feel a lot of cotton there. It's really hard under there. Let's see if we get this out. Like I said, the whole purpose of this video is just to dissect this thing. Yeah, there's little like rocks in there. Let me um let me go ahead and get this out. I'm gonna take it apart and I'm gonna try to save the chemical. It has a slight chlorine type smell. That could have been from the tap water when I washed it though, but let me go ahead and take this apart off camera. And I'm just gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut the can right down the side here. Let's see if we can get that apart. Maybe I could heat that. I don't know. Let's uh see, there's anything down in there. We can look down in there. All sealed off in the bottom there. But let's open it up so we can see what's in there. And I'll be right back. Okay, using the channel locks and motivation, I got to top off the can off. And basically, it's this much. About half the can is this little heat source or a plastic container. So let's go ahead and cut that on out and see where we stand. And I'll be right back. Okay, so there it is. There's the heat generator. It's just a um, big capsule. Uh, <coughs> probably half the weight of the container. And that's just full of quick wine. Or um, calcium, calcium, 
I think it's calcium oxide and um, or quick lime, I guess, or burnt lime. So that's all it is. Uh, it's caustic, so I don't want to get too much into it. But it's just that with a little uh, water container on the top that you puncture when you squeeze in the bottom. Uh, this one here, it's got little spikes on it. Get rid of that. See little spikes? Maybe. Come on. Well, there's spikes there, trust me. There we go. Little spikes on it. And that ruptures the packet on top and the water goes in. So it ruptures both sides of it. So there you go. That's what's inside one. Um, you could probably bake the water off this and reuse it again, but it's caustic. And I think MRE heaters are only uh, a buck or so if you buy in bulk or less. I don't even know. I never bought one. I looked into it a long time ago. But anyway, here we go. Um, that's basically the content of a self-heating beverage. So... Yeah, you know you should probably buy some of these. They're they're fun to have. I didn't care for the flavor. It it, it seemed to have a lot of oil in it to me. So, but that's me. The whole point of this video was to dissect it, and that's the unit there. And you can see how big it is. It's four fingers tall by I don't know three fingers across. So it, it's pretty big, it's decent size, and it takes up most of the. It probably takes up 40% of the container. That's what I would say. So there you go. This is North Carolina Pepper. Please rate, subscribe, ask questions, share, all that good stuff. Alright, have a great day, guys. Later.